Oh, oh, this is actually kind of fast. Okay, maybe it does make a difference. Okay, so I made a couple videos on my recommendation for the M.2 for the PS5 as well as the heatsink to go along with it. But I have not seen much testing done on whether or not the internal drive on the PS5 is faster or slower than the M.2 that people have been shoving into their PS5s. So that's what I'm gonna test out today using both PS4 games and PS5 games to see if there's any difference whatsoever and if we're spending all this money on M.2s for the same speed as the internal hard drive. My prediction is that it's gonna be exactly the same whether or not you're using the internal hard drive for games or the M.2 for games. But what I wanna see is that you guys comment down in the comment section what you guys think is gonna be the outcome of this testing whether or not you think it's gonna be the same whether you think the m.2 is gonna be faster or the internal drive is gonna be faster let me know in the comment section below i'm gonna wait go ahead comment okay let's begin okay so starting off let's try out some ps4 games that i had laying around in my library these are some games that i have played or that i'm playing at the moment so I'm just gonna take a step aside and let the music play and you guys can see the results for yourself. Okay, so now let's move over to the PS5 games, but before we do this, make sure you guys head over and smash the like button for your boy spending all the time and effort in recording this video. Just remember guys, it's free. Okay, so now that the testing is over, give yourself a round of applause. Congrats, everybody. You just sat through five minutes worth of loading screens. Congratulations, you played yourself. Okay, so with these results, we can kind of conclude that with PS4 games, there is a little bit more variability in the speeds, whether you're using the M.2 or the internal drive in the PS5, but the variability is very, very small. With the exception of Battlefield 1, where it was a little bit more, and that's because the loading screens do take forever in Battlefield 1. But other than that, it wasn't that big of a difference in total. In terms of the PS5, it was almost exactly the same amount of time, whether it was on the M.2 or the internal drive. 
So really, I think at this point in time, if you're playing PS5 games, I don't think that there's going to be any type of difference in whether or not you have games saved on the M.2 or on the internal drive on the PS5. But Matthew, why didn't you test out Spider-Man or God of War? Guys, I had my PS5 for not that long, so I don't have that many games on the PS5. You guys got me downloading these weird games like Worms Rumble. Like this thing looks like it has the same home screen as Fortnite. And then what is this? All you can eat? Like wh what type of game is this? How did this even make it into the PS5 lineup? My prediction is that you're not gonna really see much of a difference right now. Maybe like two years down the line or three years down the line when games are much more heftier and have much more assets within them. But right now, I mean, these games are not even utilizing the potential of these SSDs. So you're not gonna see a difference right now. So I would not worry too much about it. Okay, but guys, guys, this is very important what I'm about to tell you. It doesn't matter if you get into the game one second early or one second late or five seconds early or five seconds later, you're, you're still, still trash. trash. But I have a solution for you guys. All you have to do is head on over to my YouTube channel and make sure you are subscribed. This is the only way you get notified whenever I go live on YouTube. And this is the way you can watch the best player on the galaxy execute at every single game he plays. So if you guys want to watch Matthew, aka the best, play all the best video games, make sure you're subscribed and you have that notification bell turned on. The only time an M.2 is going to make a noticeable difference in your KD is if you're using it for Battlefield 1. And that's to get the plane first, because everybody knows if you get the plane first, you can execute plays like this. <laughs> I'm in danger! We have lost the sector. Holy shit. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you guys do enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this. If you guys actually did get your predictions right, I want to see it in the comment section down below. I think I got my prediction right. You guys might disagree, but I think I did. But anyways, guys, my name is Matthew. Thank you so much for watching. But as always, peace out.